I recently took a look at a bunch of the new features inside of Houdini 20 for Karma that you might have missed, and I wanted to take a look at yet another feature, which is the new clone control panel. So let's go ahead and bring up our clone control panel. First of all, this scene actually is the ripple solver scene that I did a few videos back. So if you wanna grab that, you can grab that on Patreon. Um, you can also take a look at that on YouTube. So let's go ahead and bring up a couple of panes here. So we're gonna come to the little plus icon, new pane tab type, and then we're gonna to come to Solaris and we'll do the clone control panel. And then I'm also gonna bring up the render, um, render gallery. So bring both of those up. And then with this clone control panel, we can come down to this little arrow right here and then we can select HQ clone or local clone. In this case, I'm going to do a local clone. And then we get some options. So this is going to be based off your CPU so we can limit the thread count. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that to like 12 should be fine. And then it's gonna bring up the render. It's gonna start rendering. I'm gonna go ahead and disable this for this, for this the second here. And we can go ahead and name the things or we can change some of these settings. So we can change the name, just double click on any of these to change them. I'm gonna go ahead and set the lop to my camera render settings. I'm also gonna just set the camera and I'm gonna change the CPU karma to the XPU karma for our render. Then I'm also just gonna make sure that we're set up on our render settings. If you have multiple render settings, you can change those based off of that. And in this case, I only have one, but we'll just set that anyways. And then you can also change the frame if you wanna change what frame you wanna render, you can do that. You can render out multiple frames if you want at the same time. So let's go ahead and start this on up. And then let's come over to our render gallery. I'm gonna go ahead and press Alt, Shift, and C. That's just going to make a copy of this window. And then you can see that it is starting to render out on this clone one. And you can see that it's rendering out. So if we press this render settings, we have our Karma render settings, which this is new to Houdini 20 as well. And you can see that we're using all of our devices. So by default, it's going to use all of your devices. If you just set it to the Karma CPU, it's only going to set, it's only going to use the CPU. Um, you can also set that in your render settings lop. Uh, but if you want to only use some devices, so in this case, I have a 3090 and a4000 and I also have my CPU. So if I want to only use uh, a couple of those devices or if I only wanted to use one, you can actually do that through the environment variables. So I'm going to go ahead and just stop that for the moment. So I come to this Windows and set this HScript text port. You can see that I have a command here that I've already set up. Um, I have everything enabled right now if I, or I actually you saw it there in the render, uh, the render gallery. But if I go ahead and enable this command, so we're gonna set the environment variable. This is going to be actually something that you can do inside of your houdini.env file, and that will disable them just on load. But we can do this inside of the Houdini session we're running as well. So I'm gonna set env, and then this is the command for your Karma devices, you can do zero through four, I believe is how many that you can do, and then equals to one, and that should disable the device. And if we come to our viewport, we can come to Karma CPU, or Karma XPU, I mean, sorry. And you can see that this optics, this first one has failed. So if I were to copy this again, and set this device not zero but to one equal to one and i come back in here and i restart our render you're going to see that now we have only our cpu that is rendering in our viewport so if i want to set the environment variables back so if i want to enable these devices we can set these equal to zero again oops i'll set that equal to zero and then we can do the other one as well and if I restart our render, we can go ahead and see that we have both of our devices enabled again. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, you can do it this way, but uh, like I said, it's kind of a pain in the butt. You also have to, or you can also um, do it in the uh, environment file if you want. 
Uh, I didn't really feel like doing that. I just went ahead and created a quick little HDA. I'll make it available on my Patreon. Uh, it's nothing special and it's just something for, for my needs. Uh, but this uh, Karma XPU device controller, you don't have to um, have anything plugged into it, but it's just got a script that's set up to enable or disable these devices. So if I go ahead and press uh, or uncheck that, it's going to disable that device. It also brings up the Houdini console and sets, uh, just lets you know that it has worked. So if I press this again, you're going to see that it's now enabled. So you can see that we can enable and disable whatever we want. This should be disabled both of the GPUs that I have in my system now. So if I go ahead and bring this back up to Karma XPU and I restart the render, you're gonna see that we only have our CPU that is running. So you will have to restart the, uh, the render to get the devices to reset. And if I go ahead and select that third option, that's gonna be my CPU. So now I'm rendering only on my GPUs. You can see that that Embry CPU has failed. So this is this holds true as well for the um, the clone control panel. So let's go ahead and just disable. Let's say we'll disable our second GPU there. If I go ahead and restart this, and if I bring back my there we go. If I bring back the render gallery here, we're gonna have our clone. It's going to pop up. It does give you an error sometimes but you see it starts to render. And if I look back at my devices here, you see this little icon next to the A4000, which is my second GPU, which is the device that we disabled. You can see that it is not being used. It's running basically only off of my 3090 and a little bit off of the CPU as well. And then you can do all sorts of different things with the uh, render gallery as well. There's tons of different things that you can do with this. Um, you can revert things back so you can revert network back to the uh, snapshots and stuff. So definitely play around with the render gallery, but if you wanted to set up multiple renders, let's go ahead and let's set up another camera here. Maybe we'll set up one here. And let's go ahead and just put this above. And then let's make a second HQ clone. So we'll do another local clone. We'll just leave those settings the same. And in this case, I'm gonna disable that for the moment. We'll set this again back to our render settings. I suppose you could actually, let's just delete that. You can actually duplicate this. So we'll just duplicate that and then we'll set the camera to this second camera that we have set up. And then we can start that on up and bring up our render gallery. And we should have in just a moment, once this loads up, a second clone that is running. So again, we could name them something different if we want. And now we have two different renders that are rendering different cameras out. And you can see that they're running both off of the same thing. So the XPU device controller simply just disables them. I don't have it set up to have controls over individual clones. You can probably do that. I didn't really care to because I'm not going to be using the clone control that much, but you can, uh, you can probably set that up through some other way. But uh, this is kind of an overview of the clone control panel as well as a little bit of the um, render gallery here. So something new to Houdini, you can set these up. If you don't have the clone control in here, or if you don't have this up, you see it's still running in the background. If you double click on this, I believe, it should load up. There's supposed to be a little icon here. No, maybe not. Normally there is an icon. Let's see, is there a settings here? Or actually, it's probably this icon, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so the little eye icon. So if, if you have that, you can see the little thumbnails of this. If you double click that, it should bring back up in our render gallery. At least I thought it did. I guess not. Uh, view and render gallery. Maybe it's just not working. You are supposed to. I've done it before where you've clicked, uh, you double click on it. Uh, maybe it's putting it in the other one. Do I have two open? No. I don't know. Uh, it should be pulling that up. Maybe it's too much on my system, but you should be able to um, pull up 
your renders just by double clicking on the icon as well as you can right click it and open in the render gallery and it should should pull up uh, for some reason I guess probably because I'm rendering or because I'm recording or something that's not working but I've done it before so it does work uh, maybe it's a little bit glitchy I'm not sure I haven't used it too much but that's an overview of the clone control panel so if uh, you want to learn more about Houdini or you're interested in some of the new features inside of Houdini 20, then make sure you check out uh, some of the other videos on my channel. I have been going over a bunch of the new stuff in Houdini 20. I also cover just a bunch of stuff inside Houdini in general. So like I said, check those out if you're interested. As well as Patreon, I'll make this device controller HDA available on Patreon. So if you want to grab that, you can grab it on there. Um, and then it's also free to to follow on Patreon now, so make sure that you go and follow on there if you have a Patreon account. Even if you don't subscribe, then um, you can follow, and I'll be putting some, some free stuff on there uh, at some point here in the future, so make sure you do that so you don't miss out on any of that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.